Last time on Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Art Reviews, we had a look at the perfect cell figure. Now we're gonna take a look at this badass Android 16 figure. Find out what happens today! <laughs> So what is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? I'm so so freaking happy I got this figure! But uh, I gotta give a big shout out and thank you to my friend and buddy Alex Bless for hooking me up with this figure. If you guys want to get the figure from him as well, go to uh, agelessgeeks.com or you could join the Ageless Geeks Facebook page, which I highly highly recommend. I'm uh, in that group as well. Or if you're local in California, you head up, go over to Frank and Sons. Uh, Alex's booth, the Ageless Geeks booth, is booth 632, so he's there today, which is Saturday. I think he's there every Saturday, so if you want to get this figure, head over to Frankensons uh, and look for Alex's booth, and you can get this figure for a great price. But anyway, let me show you guys the packaging, then we will get into the Android 16 figure review. Right here, he comes in the basic Dragon Ball Z uh, figure arts packaging right here. He's got the green and black color going on, which is pretty cool. Says SH Figure Arts Android number 16, Toy Animation Sticker, Dragon Ball Z, Tomoshi Nations, Bandai, Funimation, and blah blah blah, warning blah. And then the bottom of it, warning, bluefin, the top of it right there says Android number 16, SH Figure Arts, and blah blah blah. The side of it says SH Figure Arts Android 16, and a cool picture of the figure right there. Then the other side of it, you get that really cool picture of the figure right there, which looks really badass. And then the back of the packaging right there, it says SH Figure Arts, simple style and heroic action, movable, and says a bunch of stuff, and then molding says other crap too. Android number 16, and you can get them in a bunch of cool poses. Over there, you see him next to uh, Android 17 and 18, a lot taller, which he should be, so that's pretty cool. I like how he has his arm cannons, that's pretty badass. He has a uh, separate interchangeable head. Why am I explaining everything on the back? Let's get into the review and start off with these accessories. Alrighty, so starting off with the accessories here for the Android 16 figure. As you see, he doesn't come with a lot. He only comes with two pairs of hands and four different head sculpts. I wish he would have came with some blast effects, maybe for his arm cannons, but I guess maybe because he's a little bit bigger of a figure, he doesn't come with as many accessories, but oh well, what are you going to do? But he uh, comes with two pairs of hands. He comes with these hands right here, kind of like blast hands, I guess. They're sculpted and painted well. He sculpted his fingernails and stuff, so it looks pretty cool. So he comes with a pair of these, and he also comes with a pair of fists. Painted and sculpted well also. So, those are all the hands that he comes with. And also, uh, my favorite feature on this figure is that he has his arm cannons, which are really cool. You just pop his arm off at the forearm right there. And then you got his uh, arm cannons, which are really cool looking. Like I said, I wish he had blast effect parts for him, but they are really freaking cool. And it's with both arms, obviously, so you could have Android 16 with his arm cannons. So that's pretty cool that Tamashii Nations included that. I that's definitely my favorite feature on the figure. It's just badass. But also, he comes with four different head scopes. And he comes with this one right here, which is like the basic Dragon Ball Z figure arts head sculpt that each figure has. Just painted and sculpted well. I really like the hair. The hair really looks cool. I like the orange that they used for it also. And then just to interchange it, uh, you just pop off his mohawk and then you just pop it back on whichever uh, head sculpt. You want the Andro Android 16 to be posed with. But he comes with that head sculpt. And then he also comes with this, like, smirking, smiling one. I remember he always smiled when he saw birds and stuff, so. Painted and sculpted well, so pretty cool. And then he also comes with the yelling or screaming head sculpt. This is painted and sculpted well also. This is like when he's using his arm cannons. So that's cool head sculpt, and a really, really cool head sculpt he comes with is the battle damaged one. Which looks really cool after Cell beat the shit out of him. Uh, this hair is sculpted on so you don't gotta change it with the other one. But I like how you can see his robotic innards. That looks really cool right there. 
But that is all the accessories that comes with Android 16. Anyway, let's move on to comparisons. Alrighty, so now moving on to comparisons here, and as you can see, the Android 16 figure is the second tallest Dragon Ball Z figure arts figure, which he should be because he is a very tall character. He is just shy of 7 inches tall, he just misses the 7 inch line right there. But over here we have the figure arts Krillin figure, who stands at 4.5 inches tall, of course he should be shorter. Over here we have the figure arts Android 18 figure, and I think she fits in great scale with 16. A lot of people think Android 16 is too short and should be a little taller. Um, maybe it should be 7.5 inches, but I, st I still think he's fine in scale because he was about that tall compared to Cell. Over here we have the Super Saiyan Goku figure who's just about 6.5 inches tall to the top of his hair. Over here we have the Perfect Cell figure who's 6 and 3 quarter inches tall. Then over here we have the legendary Super Saiyan Broly figure who stands over 9 inches tall. So there's some comparisons really quickly. Let's move on to the paint and scoped. Okay, so moving on to the paint and scoped for Android 16. And like usual, Tamashi Nations did an incredible job with this Android 16 figure. And they always do with their Dragon Ball Z figure arts figures. But Android 16 is just an awesome figure. Definitely need this figure in your collection if you do not have him yet. Show you a closer look. I mean, it's nothing special, just like some basic painting and sculpting, kind of. But I really like the style of his armor. It's just unique compared to other Dragon Ball Z characters. It's not just like the basic Saiyan armor. I mean, this is similar to the Saiyan armor, that those pieces. But this is sculpted, like the shirt under is a little wrinkled. And I think this color right here is an extremely dark navy blue. I thought it was black, but it looks like navy blue to me. I just have one paint problem with my Android 16, as you see on the inner thigh. It's like they put too much paint there. I was trying to get it off, but I don't want to ruin the figure and scratch off his paint. That's the only problem with my figure. Other than that, the figure is just freaking badass. You get the uh, Red Ribbon Army symbol right there that's painted on. Got his gauntlets right there. And he's got the same style boots as Vegeta, just his are a uh, different color. I mean, cool looking figure. This his armor is really cool. And the sculpt goes all the way up when you articulate him back, so they didn't jip you out of that. But that is the paint and sculpt for Android 16. Let's move on to articulation. All right, so for the articulation, his head is on a uh, ball joint right there, so. And then the neck has its own articulation. It could pivot left and right, go up and down, and it could slightly swivel just a little bit. But you get great articulation with the head and neck. He could look down about that much, and then he looks up about that much, and you could take off his mohawk too. It gets hindered by this piece, so he can't look up any further than that. You get a little bit of pivot, and it swivels. But you get great articulation at the head and neck joint right there. For the upper torso, it could go back about that much, which is really good, actually. And crunch forward that much. You can also pivot and swivel. And then for the waist, it could go back and forth also can pivot and swivel as well and then all these three pieces are all individually uh, hinged so you can move them up and down and then these shoulder pieces they're on ball joints so you can move them around left and right up and down however you like and then for the shoulder the armpit here's that armpit articulation right there so you can move it all around it can go up about that much which is really good actually and then it goes up and down it could spin in a full 360 Here's the bicep swivel, here's double jointed elbows, and then the wrist is on a ball joint so it could swivel and move all around. And then for the legs, here's that great uh, Tamashii Nation's leg articulation where you could pop it out, and then it could kick up about that much, which is really good actually. And then it could go back about that much, and then it could kick out to the side about that much, a little less than 90 degrees, but it's still good. He also has swivel right there. He has the double jointed knees, and then for the ankle, could go down about that much, and then up about that much, could swivel, and then he has cool ankle pivot right there. These are uh, softer pieces, so you can get a little more articulation out of them. But that is the articulation for Android 16, and I do 
Yeah. Highly, highly recommend this figure. This is a badass figure. If you collect the Dragon Ball Z figure arts figures, you definitely, definitely need Android 16 in your collection. I got my Android 16 figure for 58 bucks from my buddy Alex Blast from AgelessGeeks.com. So definitely check out that website. Or if you live in California, head over to Frankensons. Look for booth number 632. That's Alex's booth. He'll have this figure for sale for 58 bucks. Plus he has a ton of other figures. So definitely check out booth number 632 at Frankensons. And also, if you're on Facebook, you need to join the Ageless Geeks Facebook page. That's my favorite group to be in. Um, plus you could be in direct contact with Alex to let you know what new figures are coming out, what's for pre-order, what he has for sale. So definitely join the Ageless Geeks Facebook page. It's my favorite group that I'm in right now. But overall, this Android 16 figure is freaking awesome. I'm really happy I got it. The paint and sculpt are just amazing on this figure. The articulation is great. And he has some decent amount of accessories. I wish he would have came with a couple more, but... Really no big deal. He, overall, he's really an awesome figure, and you definitely need this figure in your collection. But anyway, that is my review of the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z Android 16 figure. Hope you guys like my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share my video. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can go beep yourself. All right, everybody, I'll see you later. happy I got my Android 16 figure in the mail. I really got a bit getting bit fuck. <laughs> if you guys want to get this figure from him as well because he charges the real rub. Comes with four interchangeable heads and two pairs of two peers. What the hell is do? But let's take a look at the hand scoops. Wait, what the hell did I say? Over here we have the uh, Super Saiyan, almost forgot who he was again, god damn it. Basic Tomashination leg articulation, you can pop them out so you can get better range of motion so he can kick up about that much, which is really good. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, so for androids, I'll take your androids, what? And his ankles are on a ball joint as well, they go down about that much after you break his leg off. Mm.